in this video we will show that a complex number z is equal to a plus iota b is real if and only if z is equal to z conjugate and z is pure imaginary if and only if z is equal to minus z conjugate let's start the proof of first part so we will consider that let z is equal to a plus iota b is real and then we will prove that z is equal to z conjugate now we have considered that the complex number z is real if z is real then its imaginary part is zero the imaginary part of the complex number z which is equal to a plus iota b is b so if its imaginary part is zero then b is equal to zero and it implies that z is equal to a since b is zero let it be named as equation number one the conjugate of the complex number z is a minus iota b when b is equal to 0 then z conjugate will also be equal to a so here write z conjugate equal to a let it be named as equation number 2 from equation 1 and 2 we can write z is equal to z conjugate now we will prove its converse so conversely assume that z is equal to z conjugate since we know that z is equal to a plus iota b and z conjugate is equal to a minus iota b which implies a plus iota b now transferring these two terms on the left hand side of the equation we get minus a plus iota b equal to zero this a will be cancelled out by this and we are left with two iota b equal to zero we know that iota is not equal to 0 and definitely 2 is also not equal to 0 so which implies that b is equal to 0 hence we can write z is equal to a plus iota b since b is 0 so z is equal to a which is real so its converse is also proved so we can say that a complex number z is real if and only if z is equal to z conjugate now we will show that z is pure imaginary if and only if z is equal to minus z conjugate so to prove it let z is equal to a plus iota b b pure imaginary if z is pure imaginary then its real part is zero its real part is a so which implies a is equal to zero so which implies when a is zero then z is equal to iota b let it be named as equation number one we can write minus z conjugate equal to minus times value of z is iota b conjugate which is equal to minus iota b conjugate is minus iota b and it is equal to iota b let it be named as equation number two from equation one and two 
we can see that z is equal to minus z conjugate since both since both have value my uh, since both have value iota b so we can write z is equal to minus z conjugate now we have proved when z is pure imaginary then z is equal to minus z conjugate now we will prove its converse so conversely we will assume that z is equal to minus z conjugate value of z is equal to a plus iota b and it is equal to minus a plus iota b conjugate which can also be written as a plus iota b equal to minus times a plus iota b conjugate which is equal to a minus iota b which is equal to a plus iota b equal to minus a plus iota b now transferring these two terms on the left hand side of equation we get a plus iota b plus a minus iota b equal to zero plus iota b will be cancelled out by minus iota b so we get 2a equal to zero and we know that 2 is not equal to zero which implies a is equal to zero so z is equal to a plus iota b can be written as since a is zero so it is equal to iota b which is pure imaginary so hence the proof is completed we have proved that z is pure imaginary if and only if z is equal to minus z conjugate